This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at molecularity. The term molecularity indicates the number of reactant particles in an elementary step. Here we have a reaction together with a proposed two-step mechanism. In the first step, one particle of NO2Cl decomposes to form NO2 and an atom of chlorine. In the second step, a particle of NO2Cl reacts with an atom of chlorine to form NO2 and a chlorine molecule. So in step one, we have one reactant particle, which is known as being unimolecular. In step two, we have two reactant particles, which is known as being bimolecular. So step one is a unimolecular elementary step, and step two is a bimolecular elementary step. In our next example, we have a reaction together with a proposed two-step mechanism. The first step involves the reaction of two particles of NO2, and the second step involves the reaction between one particle of NO3 and one particle of CO. So step one with its two reactant particles is known as being bimolecular, and step two with its two reactant particles is also bimolecular. So to summarize, a unimolecular elementary step involves one reactant particle. For example, one particle which is A reacts to form products. We also looked at bimolecular elementary steps that involve two reactant particles. For example, particles A and B react together to form products. And this brings us to a termolecular elementary step, which involves three reactant particles. For example, particles A, B, and C reacting together to form products. Termolecular steps are rare because of the low probability of three reactant particles colliding with sufficient energy and the correct orientation. So let's end the video with a summary. In this table, we have the elementary step, its molecularity, and an example rate expression. So the first example is a unimolecular elementary step where one particle reacts to form products. And in the right column, we can see an example rate expression. In the next two rows, we have bimolecular elementary steps. And once again, in the right column, we have two examples of rate expressions. The last three rows all show termolecular elementary steps. As mentioned earlier, termolecular elementary steps are rare. And in the column on the right, we can see example rate expressions.